since he certainly has been while talking another in the front of father-in-law, in private. Though, it's another story. Earlier, the family held a small feast to celebrate the news, and he had the same attitude then too. But afterwards, when everyone else had left or gone to bed, we stayed up to sit together drinking wine, and it was a whole lot more so somber. He wasn't modest, but he wasn't boastful, either. He was just outright insecure. He might not say it in front of you, but you know what? He said to me as I poured him more wine. He takes all the credit for my promotion. Aww. According to him, it's all because of the Emperor's perfectly new bride. Of course, all because of him. I said quietly, I don't want to take credit for her. I wasn't the one who got her to shut up. That was, that was all him. I don't like discussing it, and please, mother, don't even ever ask me why. Oh my. Doesn't matter, he said. That's not what I, why I got promoted. I got promoted by, cause magistrate, I mean now, hi magistrate, Park and I managed to make Smith look bad, so bad, look so bad that he had to get shuffled off. Well, that's not necessarily great. You should work for your position, not just make people above you, like, pick them off so you can get their positions, that's not good. It's exposing the whoring and the thuggery that did it. Oh my, Smith family, how could you? Not the damn pale bride, he said with annoyance. Well, that's how he is, you know, he'll never give you credit for anything, I said, he replied. I know, I just wish he'd acknowledge it. I just don't know how he can be so stupid as to not be proud of me, you know? Well, he should be proud of you, I, you, I mean, you helped him with the math, because he was freaking 16 and he didn't know shit 1 plus 1, and then you came in and you were like, oh, it's this and this, and then he's like, oh, well then I can tell them that and I can get promoted. He should be more grateful of her, this is outrageous. I know, but let's not focus on that right now. This guy, I thought I liked this guy. Come on, come on, you can do better than this, Kim Young-suk. I think we should focus on the good right now. How about we toast to our to your success, then? Here's to the new Magistrate Kim. I raised my glass and drank. He betrayed the faintest of smiles, and he didn't share my toast, and instead put down his glasses. Glass, okay? For a moment I was worried, but then he used the same hand to grab my chin instead with the first time ever kissed me on the mouth. Far sweeter than any wine, he said to me. I wasn't sure what he meant, that the kiss or the success, but I agreed to the way. So cute. <laughs> so cute. You have to have something to say about this, right? Well, as you see soon enough, it all seems to come back to the Pale Bride. Yeah, who is this Pale Bride person? Is she the one who was like, yeah, she is the one that kind of acts like a computer. I don't think Kim Young Soo ever thought he very much of his adopted son, or at least neither he nor his wife thought so. Okay. You want to know what I think, though? Well, of course. Sure. I think they're both really dumb. I mean, it's not like she ever did anything. It's not her fault. Mm. Okay. She just happened to be there and was married as a political gesture. Well, well, yeah, she just happened to be there, I, I agree, yes. What kind of person projects their insecurities onto someone who just only ever just gets pushed around? That's true. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little bit off track here. That's not really help very helpful, is it? No, it is helpful. I, I, I would like to see your opinion. That's good. <laughs> well, anyway, getting back on track here. No, no, I, I, I enjoy hearing your opinion. It's, it's interesting. Alright, let's go back and see what block we have. Uh, finish this block. Uh, we finished block that, that's, uh, I guess block 10 is all that's left. Oh, and, uh, we've only got one, and this is year two, three, two, one. Big gaps here. Marital ambitions. By Reo Jehua. To the women who will marry my husband, but please do not think that all of this is meant to say, 
you will be unloved. You may be the sec a second wife, but you are still the daughter of a noble house, and this is precious to the gift of the Rayo family. My husband has faith that you will bring him a son, and that means all the world to him. Nor am I jealous for you will relieve a heavy burden on, on our house, and for that I am grateful. As proof of his affection towards you, for you, let me share with you one secret, which I have been permitted to tell only you. In honor of you, my husband, in his capacity as captain and emperor, has permanently changed his admin password to your birth name. Wait a minute, this is for the um, terminal. I couldn't access the administrator access because there was a password, but if I can figure out the birth name of... Um, this bride, I can actually figure out. Oh, sorry, that, that, if I can figure out the the birth name of this girl, I can probably access the ministry access. Good, good, good. Uh, my new sister, you will be brought into the Ryu family not as a mere lowly woman, but a symbol of power in the inner chambers. Chambers, you will not only represent the continuous of Ryu bloodline, but by providing him a son. But your very name will represent the power of the captain's computer. Oh my. Understand this, Pale Bride. Your duty may be great, but you will be loved. Oh my, so the Pale Bride... I'll have to figure out what the Pale Bride's true name is to figure out the password. Okay. Good, good. Ayune! Anything to say? Ah, of course. The last person to hold the tiles, captain and emperor on the ship, was Reyu Inho. Is the last person. Okay, well then the destruction of the ship must have been shortly after, right? Which of Captain Rio's wives do you wish to know more about? Honesty, the Pale Bride. Very well, she wrote a lot, so this is going to be trickier to filter. Well, okay, that's, that's fine. I guess I'll just start at the top and let you figure out what's important. No, that's fine. I can figure out the Pale Bride's birth name, hopefully, by this. Block 5. Perfect. Not Block 6. She deleted that one for some, for some reason. Well, the Month of Good Fortune. The Month of Good Fortune. Kim Young-Soo. The second month of the 319th year was one of the great fortune of the, for the Kim family. While on bis official business, the Captain and Emperor Ryu can find confided in me that he wished that I had a daughter of marriage age to give him, to take as a second wife. His first wife had been unable to provide a son, oh my, and was becoming increasingly concerned that she would never would, oh my. Oops, so daisy, there we go. On through the, uh, she never would. At the start of the month, I had no daughter in my family to give. My only son, Yang Siuk, was still without child. Yet it would be was a perfect opportunity. This may sound f fantastical, but I swear it's true. Passed on through the generations of the main branch of the Kim family is a giant egg of translucent luster, such that one can see the form of a sleeping child inside. Okay, um, she is known as the Pale Bride. Oh, okay, she is the Pale Bride. For the inscription on the egg and she was trusted to in our family to be awakened during a time of great prosperity, right? Yet, as any man knows, prosperity is size, not waited on. A daughter to provide the emperor with a son would elevate the family above the other noble houses once and for all. Considering this, I promised the emperor that I did have a daughter who would be soon be of marriage age to be presented, and I smashed the egg. Holy cow, you smashed the egg? Don't do that, man. It should be opened and not just like smashed to pieces. Kind of like, such that the pale bride passed through the Kim family of years could be adopted as my own daughter. She is a strange child, but will make a fine wife for the emperor. What a good fortune this means. A child to be sleeping in this translucent egg thing. Kind of sounds kind of either alien-like or maybe futuristic and technologically advanced for some reason. Hmm. Mysteries, I say. Mysteries. 